Hello everyone, it's good to have you here again. Today's topic is saying laws of indices. If you can remember from the previous class, we treated what is indices in mathematics. And we said indices can also be called power or exponent. Anything raised to another thing. That thing that is on top is called an indices or power or exponent and the number down is called the base so if you want to have an idea of what we're saying you can check the video before this one so for today we want to know the laws the rules we have to follow to enable us solve indices rule number one says anything raised to the power of zero is one x raised to the power of zero is one x in this case could be anything representing anything rise stone gold whatever is raised to the power of zero will always give us one so if a constant or variable has an index as zero the result is one a constant is anything that cannot change variable is anything that can change that is how best i can explain in its simplest form what they mean so note that we called those things down the base and those things up are called indices index or power please so when two the same base and multiplying each other with different powers we add the powers and then rule number three says when two the same base when two same base are dividing each other with different powers we have to subtract the powers so note the difference between rule number two and rule number three Rule number two is having multiplication. Rule number three is having division. Two same bases but different paths. You have to know what works for each of them. So moving on to rule number four, we have x raised to the power of minus a will give us one over x raised to the power of a. Anything raised to the power of a negative number will always give you its reciprocal. Reciprocal means one over that same thing. But this time, there is no negative number. Please get it. So meaning the negative number changed to one over. That one over, I mean one divided by, cancel the negativity. Okay? <laughs> Pun intended. Rule number five says anything raised to the power of something also raised to the power of another thing will give you the multiplication of those powers. So x raised to the power of a also raised to the power of b will give you x raised to the power of a times b. That's very straightforward. I hope you got it though. Moving on, rule number six says okay in this case we see the difference between row number six and row number two there are two different bases unlike row number two that had same basis so when you multiply two different bases having the same power take note please when you multiply two different bases having the same power you bring the bases together and put just one power because that power is common in both sides i don't know if you get it x raised to the power of a times y raised to the power of a will give you x times y or raised to the power of a when we start solving examples you would definitely get it but i was trying to explain using my finger that rule number two is actually different from rule number six rule number two is multiplying two same bases with different powers but rule number six is multiplying two different bases with the same power so there are two opposite things do not be confused okay rule number seven says when you divide two different bases with the same power you do the same thing divide them and then bring the power which is common to both of them do you get it so rule number three looks like rule number seven but there are two different things so rule number eight says x raised to the power of a over b will give you x raised to the power of a root b you will get it once we start solving examples don't worry about it okay x raised to the power of a over b will give you x raised to the power of a root b i'm going to write down explaining to you what that means how best you can understand it notice that a represents the power in this case 
okay so that's why i wrote x raised to the power of a then you put a root symbol and you put b so division of b means root b i hope you got it x raised to the power of a root b that's how best i can explain it i hope you got it so where x is not zero in all cases what we're trying to say is x and y can never be zero for everything we just explained for the rules or the laws of indices x and y can never be zero your basis can never be zero that's what they are trying to say your basis can never be zero zero raised to the power of zero cannot be one you know anything other than zero one two three four it can work but not zero okay so running our laws through again rule number one says anything raised to the power of zero gives you one rule number two says two same bases multiplying each other with different paths bring the base together and add your power rule number three says two same bases dividing each other with different paths bring your base together and subtract your power rule number four says that anything raised to the power of a negative number will always give it reciprocal rule number five says anything raised to the power of something and raised to the power of another thing will give you that thing raised to the power of those two things rule number six says two different bases multiplying each other with the same power bring them together with that power rule number seven says two different bases dividing each other with the same power bring it together with that power rule number eight says just that about the root if you have any questions as usual usual please leave it in the comment section below we'll be willing to attend to you and do not forget to also share this video if it was helpful to you so your friends can also see from it and learn and feel free to like our pages follow our pages on all social media platform until the next class bye